welcome back to the channel dr daniel over here and today we're going to be talking about these local chickens i know you guys have seen them before you've seen me feeding them these are grandma's chickens and you know the interesting truth not just not a long while back just a few months back they were just five i think even less than five probably four the grown-up females and then one alpha male right over there now you guys will notice they are clamped towards the door because they want to get out guys these chickens are free ranged and they are not used to being indoors you know to being inside so they want to get out Grandmother is back to the farm and she's very happy. Uh, the last time I constructed this house, she didn't know about it. And she came back and found it and she was very happy and excited. So currently we've made a few modifications to this place. Um, I don't know if you guys can notice, but there is a few pieces of, of poles that we've added. That's for extra protection, just in case someone cuts through the iron sheets. And then there is these poles again that we put here. The birds are not here right now, but you can see this little bird right now. It's moving on top here. And this is generally where the birds roost. I have some more on the sides right here, where the birds generally roost. You guys, if you know, birds are birds, and birds love to roost up. They never love to roost down, you know, on the floor. You, you don't put, you know, this on the floor for them to sleep or no. They prefer to sleep somewhere up, just like you can see those birds up there. Birds generally love to sleep up. So, um, this is what happens. A short while back, it was just four females and one male, the alpha male, that you can see right here. And from my previous videos, one of my previous videos, you would have noticed that there is someone who told me they want to start a poultry farm and they have no money at all. So, you want to start a poultry farm, you have zero shillings, like no money, zero dollars. Um, if you're wondering what's happening in the past, I think the alpha male the dominant male is trying to assert his authority so these other two over here are also males that he actually gave birth to uh he's the one who it's his seed that gave birth to them but because they are growing up right now i think he's trying to let them know that i'm the boss around but yeah if you want to start a poultry farm and you have no money at all completely no money at all you don't want to work for anyone you know you don't want to go and work for other people you're certain you just want to start your poultry farm you alone i don't advise you to go around you know begging for money um maybe in the future i'm going to be talking about you know taking loans specifically i've already talked about that in a video that i'll just leave in a link right here but the option that you have is just to start small yeah uh, grandmother over here didn't go and borrow money or anything yeah she just had her four chickens and one male which was actually just given to her um the four females or you can even just start with with two females build a very simple chicken coop like this one guys i told you this chicken coop didn't cost more than 170 dollars it wouldn't cost more than 170 dollars a simple chicken coop like this and then what's going to happen is that the chickens are going to start laying eggs right in here we have a chicken which is actually laying eggs and a very short while ago it laid eggs yeah so it gave us chicks and it's already back to laying eggs actually it's this one it has come to present itself so this chicken laid eggs a very short while ago it has babies that are starting to grow up and it's back to laying again so you get the birds to lay the eggs um then they're going to incubate the eggs themselves you're not going to spend any money you're not trying to incubate the eggs or anything like that and after they have incubated the eggs they're going to hatch uh, right now right here we have a chicken which hatched it was such a pity it hatched only ch three chicks out of like i don't know maybe like eight eggs i don't know what happened um i honestly don't know what happened but what happened is that it left the eggs and when we broke the eggs they were actually still chicks inside it just needed to probably be patient for just a day and they would have hatched it was such a pity that it left the eggs but in a short while less than a year guys less than a year we have all these chickens inside here i don't know how many they are they're quite a number i'm certain they are more than 20. yeah
in the past you've been having mortalities before we constructed this chicken coop over here we were having lots of mortalities because the chickens could die from disease uh you know fleas infecting them but now that they are in here it's easier to control the fleas it's easier to control the diseases so what happens is that when a chicken hatches its chicks right in front of me here we created a very small section where we don't let the mother chicken out we just put it inside there supply it with its feed and water for the day um, until the chicks actually grow up to one age where they can be able you know to move out and free range so that has enabled us to increase the survival rate of the chicks and because of that we are having way more chickens right now and then the other thing is that you will probably spend very little or nothing on vaccination yeah grandmother never spends anything on vaccination of these birds because she never vaccinates them yeah she never vaccinates them um i think i'm going to start vaccinating them because recently i noticed some of them were starting to get sick so i'm going to take up the cost of vaccinating them but you know deworming that's something that we never do vaccinating we haven't been doing it in the past there is very little you're going to spend on them yeah so it's around 8 a.m right now and they are still inside here but at around 10 11 a.m we're going to open for them they start moving around they scratch for their own food they get the food from nature the nutrients from nature and after some time they'll just come back in the evening you know at around 6 7 p.m the door is always open so they just come back get in here and sleep very simple setup very simple way for you to you know raise them and get money and of course with time they're going to be very many and will grandmother will be able to sell off some of them get some money back and the cycle continues so guys yeah that was it very simple way of raising chicks with very little money minimal money almost no money at all starting your own poultry farm without any money in case you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell that way you never miss out on an upload lots of love bye bye see you next time